everybody. My name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. Today I have a little bit of a sneak peek for you. I'm going to show you um, something from both of the upcoming new catalogs that start in July. So it is it's always a little bit um, tricky when we do these launches. And last year it got pushed another month. And even in August, it was a little bit tricky. But when it's July and we have our holiday catalog, that's a little bit like... I love summer and I want to enjoy summer and especially when this catalog starts in July 1st and we've got that this year, you know, July 1st is on a Friday of the 4th of July weekend. So we have a, a you know, big summer holiday and my daughter's birthday. And while she was born in Australia, I tried to get the doctor because um, in America, it was still the 4th of July. I really wanted him to put the 4th of July on her birth certificate, you know, because when you're an American having a baby and it's the 4th of July, that's a big birthday, but it had just turned the 5th in Australia and he wouldn't do it. I can't imagine why. Um, so this catalog will start on July 1st. Um, I'm going, I will have a couple of things, but again, a holiday weekend. And I know y'all, are going to be out enjoying family and the weather and fireworks and picnics and you're not going to be sitting around watching videos so i am going to kind of cater my catalog kickoff i will have my specials they will start on um july 1st i may do my catalog walkthrough video then um i'll be working on my try it class but i'm gonna do my big catalog kickoff starting the 6th so it'll be the end of that week. Um, the specials, so you'll get more days that the, um, my catalog kickoff specials, because normally they go over three. You're going to get almost a week of extra specials. Um, that way we'll get through my daughter's birthday on the 5th, and then I will start catalog kickoff 6th, 7th, and 8th. So you'll have from July 1st to July 8th. Um, but um, my thing when I look at this is I'm using some Christmas stuff today, but I try to switch it up. So I'm going to use some Christmas things and I'm going to make them not be Christmassy. So celebration. And the thing that really happens with celebration is some of you love Christmas in July and you look at that. Others of you were like me and you're like, I'm at the pool. I'm not thinking about Christmas cards right now, but this stuff is free. Anything in this catalog is free in July and August, and then it's gone forever. Um, and so about September, when you start thinking about, oh, maybe I should start at least thinking about what I'm going to get for my Christmas cards, it's gone. Um, and I don't want you to miss the free stuff that you can use. So I'm going to show you some Christmas things and ways to use them not for Christmas, so you'll pay attention to them, and then you'll have them when it's time for Christmas. So again, everything in here is free. If you didn't get your catalog from me yet because you didn't make a purchase in May, uh, they will be coming shortly. So after I get through camp tomorrow, which is Friday, um, next thing up is to get a, getting all the rest of these out. And then this, everything in here is good through the end of December. So that's what we're gonna do. I am going to use um, this super adorable stamp set called Trees for Sale, but I'm gonna, so I've made, this will be the third card that I'm going to make. They're all three a little bit different, um, all summer themed. So I'm just going to, on the card I'm going to do now, I'm just going to use You Light Up the Season. And we're talking summer season. So um, obviously it is You Light Up the Christmas Season if you're using it as intended. But it's got the little dog and little dog tracks, trees. You can use them all year round. You can use the little lights whenever you want some lights. Um, so this is in the catalog. This will be available through December. Obviously, you'd want it before December unless you're going to scrapbook with it. But in the celebration thing, free with a $100 purchase, you can get the dies. And so the dies will go with this. But again, if you miss them and their wall supplies last, I can see these being one of the things that may, um, well, sell out. So they've got little banners. They've got the Christmas tree stands. I don't even know what some of the things are. They cut out a lot of pieces, cut out the dog. I have no clue what that is because I didn't run them all through. It's got a little wreath. Um, I don't know what this is. And, but the part that we're going to use, obviously you've seen the little teaser, is the retro camper. Not even in the, the stamp set. So we're going to make some summer camping cards. And... This is free, and see it has little banners here too. We're not gonna use those, but it cuts out the dog. Super cute. This is one of my favorite things in the Celebration Catalog. 
and I've switched the colors every time. So let's first do these pieces. It's, it's a really quick card. Um, it reminds me of lots of things. We camped a lot when I was a child, so it takes me back to that. Um, it, but you know, right now, if you go to like farmer's markets or any kind of sale things, a lot of the boutiques are set up in these little vintage things. So I'm going to use, oh, this is called Split, Split something. Here it is. This is out of the regular catalog. This is called Split Card Texture Dies. So I'm gonna use the flowers. I used the flowers on one and on the other one, I used the other design that comes in it. I And this was the first time I'd used it. In fact, I knew I'd ordered it and it. I spent probably 20 minutes trying to find it <laughs> because when I got it, it was for something else and I knew it was the only thing in the order I got. So it just goes right up here in the corner of the card. This one does flowers. They're kind of 60s hip which kind of it goes, I thought, well with the style of the little caravan, camper van. I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, caravan's the Australian word. So roll those through. All of them didn't fall out, but that was okay. All of them didn't fall out on my other pattern either. So I just knocked them over. And the ones that fall are the ones that fall. I'll just do that off camera in a second. And then let's do all the little pieces that I chose for this. And here's how I did my color scheme. These are so much fun. These may be a gift um, with purchase for catalog kickoff. They are called the Fine Sparkle Adhesive Back Gems. They go with the new gnomes. And I think I didn't get the catalog. I didn't open it, but best guess, they're Strawberry, Papaya, Tahitian Tide, and Pool Party. I think that's the colors. Um, that's the colors. That's how I chose my card stock. And so all three of my cards are a little bit different according, but those are the colors that I went with. So I have some of our silver metallic and I have my little bubble lights. My dad, whenever we camped, we always had bubble lights on our campsite. And then it has some pieces of highlights. I'm going to do those also in the silver metallic. And then on this one, my other one, two cards, I did my camper van in smoky slate. This time I'm going to do it in the pale papaya. So these are all just pieces of scrap paper I had sitting around. So they're bigger than what I need to be, but you know, this one's way bigger. And then this is pool party for my trees. Now the trees, there's also a larger tree and then there are tops that go on top. So if you're doing the Christmas tree, it can cut them out. It could be snow. It could just be another layer. And on one of the cards, I'll show you because I did layer them. And then I thought this is a summer card. It doesn't need all those layers. There's a lot going on. So in this one, I'm just going to do the two smaller flat ones. So roll these through. Okay, so we have all of our pieces. Now, like I said, I'm going to use, on this card, I'm only going to use the words. On one of the cards, I did use some other images out of the stamps. So my sister just left. She watched the household. I was on vacation. Now she has just left for three weeks in Canada and they stay out where you have to take everything with you. It's true camping. It's in a cabin, but, um, they have nothing. So she took my try it class. Um, cause you know, when you do my try it class, you don't need a lot of stuff, but so somebody like that, that goes, is going somewhere. If you're going somewhere, then sometimes what you can take is you just can't take everything. Like I couldn't take everything I own on a trip like that. So sometimes when you look at what you have, or if you're new and you're starting out, when you look at your things, or oh, I'm trying to find where I put my stamp set. Here it is. Then when you see this, you have to be a little bit more creative. So on this one, like I said, I used to this. Obviously these can be stars. Um, my daughter, this could easily be her birthday card because her birthday is in July. So I could give her, you light up the season and it's, you know, summer season. So don't look at it as just a Christmas set, but I'm going to show you a couple of other things on the last card. So hang around so you can see other ideas. Obviously I could put this on my daughter's birthday card because their little dog Quincy's cute as can be. So that could be Quincy. So I've just got this. Now we have these fun little modern things. On this one, I'm going to use strawberry sorbet, sweet sorbet. 
go away on vacation when you have new end colors that you're still learning the words for and you can forget them. <laughs> so we're going to put this on here and then you can see those show through and it's super fun. I'm not worried about these that didn't pop out. If you want to get every last one of them out, you can. So to adhere this, I'm going to use fine tip glue in a second. So for right now, I'm just going to stick this on here. And then when I get my glue out and I use it on something else, I'll add a little bit up there. So let's start with our camper. So I've got these pieces. I did it a couple of different ways. So again, hang on and I will show you the other ways that I did it on the other ones. And those are smoky slates. So this is a papaya one. This is much more a girl, uh, more feminine looking card. The other one that I did, the first one could be a guy or a girl. Get us a piece of scrap paper. So for this one, I don't really need it for this. I'm going to just color a couple of images on here. Now on the other one, I colored on, on gray. And then here's some, I think these are tree trunks. I didn't end up using them, but I'll lose them. So I'm gonna go with my light smoky slate. And I'm gonna use the brush tip because I don't wanna have a lot of it, but this will give my door a little bit of color. And it's got an indent. So if you just go right up to it, it will bleed. Because you know the blends bleed. They'll, they'll bleed right up to that um, indent. So you don't have to really even color super straight. Because the bleeding is going to take it right up to the line for you. And I thought about putting window sheet behind. And you still could. There's so many different ideas that you could use for this fun little trailer. And the, the really cool thing is, is it doesn't have to, like you don't even have to get the stamp set. The only part of the stamp set that I'm using. So if you love the trailer, you're just going to have the trailer and the trees and the lights. So you don't have to, it doesn't have to be Christmas. I'm just going to kind of let that bleed right up there. And it gets straighter and straighter as it kind of bleeds on its own. So got that. And then I'm going to take my dark smoky slate, which looks like black. Whoops. And I'm using the brush tips on these because that gets a little bit less color. I don't want a ton of color. On the first one, I didn't color at all. So if you don't want to color, you don't have to. I would not use the Stampin' Write markers because the color is just solid this way I can get my little wheel on here. Just add that. That way my whole trailer isn't papaya. It's not so bad when the whole thing's smoky slate, but to have a whole trailer that's papaya is a little bit much. Now I'm going to take my papaya one, and on this one I can use the little one and just get this little hubcap right here. Just it's a little bit darker. And if you want, you can get that over there. Then we have these two pieces that popped out because I didn't, and I'll show you, again, you could put window sheet behind it. On one, I put vellum and then it disappeared. So then I colored the vellum. So I'll show you that at the end. But this one, I'm going to add blue. I'm not quite sure what the Tahitian Tide on the papaya is going to look like. It looked really good on the, the smoky slate. But kind of give us just the illusion of Sky or inside the trailer. Just let that kind of absorb in there. And then we have the sweet sorbet. So this fun little, just kind of hard to color. This just little circle for the door. And then just because I didn't want these to be flat, my trees, when I had just colored this, I'm just going to take pool party on pool party. I'm not even going to color the whole thing. I'm just going to kind of take my brush tip and just add a little bit of shading. It goes super fast. And as it dries, it kind of just gives a little bit of texture. Now let's take our silver pieces. And 
this will kind of cover down in there if your wheel seeped up any. And then I'm gonna take my glue and add that. Since I'm using two adhesives on this card, it helps. And add this up here. This card has much more of a boutique feel than the other ones. And then I'm gonna take my tiny dimensionals. Put two in here. One in my window. Oh, that is cute. Now the blue looks, the Tahitian tie looks a little pool party, doesn't it? Mixed with that. On the other card, I'll show you what it looks like on the smoky slate. Let's add a tree. And then I'm just going to grab a bigger dimensional. We have all kinds of adhesives going. It is so nice to have anything you need just sitting here. Now we will pull out my fine tip glue. I've had a lot of people, I love fine tip glue and this one is almost gone. It's about down to here. Uh, and I have a lot of people saying that you have, it's all of a sudden I have tons of people asking about it. I think and it's partly because mine's almost gone. So you realize I've used mine a lot. I'm gonna just take one stripe up here, but don't let it sit. Um, so if I'm going to sit here and I'm going to mess with it a little bit, I always put the, you don't have to screw it back on, but I just put this and I just stick it in there so it doesn't sit. If you let it sit even in two or three minutes, then it starts to dry in there and the, If you let it sit five minutes, it starts drying and drying and drying. And every time you let it sit for any extended amount of time, it's drying in there. And over time, it's just going to dry up. So even though you feel like it's not a very long time, it doesn't take very long for this tiny little thread right here to start to dry. So sometimes I'm bad and I'm like, oh, crud, I didn't put that on there. But if I'm just going to sit here and mess with something and sometimes you know you're kind of playing around and you don't intend for it to be three or four minutes and you look over um so on those occasions if you have a needle at your table that is similar to this but long especially if you can find one that has a thing on top of it then you can work it out yourself and then when you stick it all the way in there or you can take this off and go up the other direction with the needle and then you'll feel that it has some sticky in it and you're like you do that a couple of times and then you learn. You're like, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm just going to always put the, the cap back on. And you don't have to screw it on. Just stick the needle in the top and that stops the air from getting in there. And here is the best part of this card. These tiny little lights, which will allow us to put on those fabulous new embellishments. Which I'm pretty certain, as I said, which will be a gift from purchase. And here is this, when I do die cuts, this amount of time, it usually takes me about the same amount of time to put this on. And here's the other thing, if it sat there and it has that on it, just wipe it off, it gets on your fingers. But this glue is not sticky like the, the green glue. Put that on there. And if I was gonna keep going, I wouldn't take time to screw it on, just have the needle be in there. And usually by then, this has had enough time now to set. So it's a, kind of an equal amount of time that you need from needing to have the needle stuck in there and needing this to set. Now look at how, how much fun these are. So on the first one, I did the tiny ones. And then on the second one, I did the big ones. It needs the big ones, because they're just so much fun. Where just the big ones fit right over the top of these. I've already used so many and all I've done is made three of these cards. Let's go back to a blue. I hate that there's an even number because I really want to just use tons of these on here. I'm gonna do another papaya since my trailer's papaya. So here is this one with the sweet sorbet card 
and the papaya. Super cute. Isn't that sweet? And it's a Christmas set. It's a free Christmas set of dies. So if you didn't want to get the stamp set, I mean, why wouldn't you? It's like a $20 stamp set. Um, but if you didn't, you could find any other kind of words to go on there. I just wanted to show you, but in a second, you're going to see what I did. So here's this one, sweet sorbet and papaya. This one, I used papaya for the back and then the camper itself is the one I did, Smoky Slate, colored them exactly the same. But this is Tahitian Tide on Smoky Slate. This has kind of turned it into pool party. Yeah, it looks like it's pool party. So exact same card, just switch it up the colors. Now this one, I used the other background. I'm gonna keep my finger here. And then I used the stars. Let's pull the stamp over because it's a starry summer night. So I pulled out my stars for the starry summer night. And then here, right here, I know what it is. Y'all don't have to tell me. I know somebody's not gonna watch the video more than one somebody, because people like to tell me, like they think I'm crazy. And I am a little crazy, but sometimes I'm a little crazy creative. So this is a tree stand. And if you're selling trees at Christmas, then you need a tree stand. I don't need a tree stand because my trees are growing in the forest. But it is um, a twinkly summer night. This one also has the vellum and I just colored a little bit of papaya to kind of light up inside of my camper van. But I did need a dragonfly. So there's my tree stand flipped upside down and it's become a little dragonfly. So be super creative. This is the other little background. Here are the trees. This one I did the double. So it's the background and then the over top which I just glued on. These I just pulled off super careful and it's the over top, but I just didn't let the pieces fall out. So three different ways, very similar ways, that you can use the free dies that you can get free starting July 1st. So if you have any questions, if you need a catalog, let me know. Um, and you can go to my website, get all of the information about my catalog kickoff. I will start posting a catalog with what's going to be happening. Um, if you want to do my try it class in that, you will get to see, we'll do a card with each of the new papers. You'll get all of the new embellishments on a card. Each, every card will ha feature a new paper, a new embellishment, and a new ribbon. And then some of them will have new die cuts. Some of them will use new folders. It's a really fun class. Um, be watching for a video soon um, with the first project from that upcoming class. Have a great one. Bye.